Hey guys. So in the last, I guess, five years of my life, I've learned a lot about people. I've learned a lot about trusting people and who I can and can't trust and who I um, should bring in close to me. A year and a half ago, I got out of a very emotionally abusive relationship. Ugh. It's crazy to see my life now compared to what I used to have and, and just to see the difference between life with good, solid people who like truly love you as opposed to toxic relationships with people who are selfish and manipulative and who don't do a good job of loving you. So, so this relationship has taken, it took a good like year and a half to really get over kind of the addiction of that. For the first year, the relationship was really, really toxic, and at the time, I, I didn't know how long-term this, this crap was going to affect me, and I turned into this person that I just did not recognize, but I was a girl who was down for anything, and that is what I prided myself in because that is what I was told made me um, lovable and made me, made me feel like I, I belonged. The sad thing is, is I was so used to this like group of people who all I saw were people saying, look at all the wonderful things going on in my life, look at how much I have it together, just kind of living two lives. And I didn't really understand what it was to fully trust someone, so I think part of the reason why I um, hid from you guys and why I hid from myself and the people around me was because like, I saw people saying one thing and then doing something else, and it felt like it wasn't okay to just be real and to just be authentic. It felt like I had to hide as well. Because there are a lot of things that I did in those two years that I am so not proud of. Gosh, it just, and every single time it's, like it started with a party, it ended the next morning, and just the shame. The shame was so bad. All I wanted was to be loved, even if it was for a night. I just desired that so much and believed so much in words and in what this person said. I don't think I was wrong to do that, but where I was wrong, I think, was to keep believing and believing and believing and not seeing any change in the actions of this person yet sticking in the relationship and uh, unfortunately just getting totally ruined. If I had to question how somebody feels about me on a day-to-day -day basis, then there is something terribly, terribly wrong. I was sure that it was fine because that felt like that was all and it felt like this person was it for me and this was as good as it gets and I quickly learned that that is not the case. The sad thing is that I know a lot of you guys can relate. It is so sad to me that like this situation is so common. I am just so sad that selfishness exists and I'm so sad that people make decisions based on fear and based on themselves only without taking other people into consideration and that unfortunately is what happened to me. When I decided to get out of that relationship a year and a half ago, I, whoo, man, that was my whole life. That was my entire world, my entire life and all I needed, all I wanted were people and I wanted God and I wanted just community and I didn't know what that even meant. It took a year and a half for me to get over it all. And in the last week, I don't know if you guys have been following me in the last week or so, but like you know that something's up because I've just been all over the place emotionally and just like saying this passive aggressive tweet and then this thing over here and then everyone's like, what's going on with you? I'm not gonna give you guys really any details. <laughs> all I'm gonna say is, oh gosh. Something happened within my close circle of people where something was revealed that could have completely demolished my relationship with that person, but instead because, because of trust and because of integrity, we are actually closer than ever. And it's actually really a bizarre thing. It's crazy how you learn, like, when you go through something traumatic, you start to see people's true colors. This is something that is so hard for me because I am someone who trusts very easily. I will, like, fight tooth and nail to see the good in that person, no matter what they do and no matter what happens. It takes a really long time for you to break my trust. And unfortunately for me, that has led to years of toxic relationships and then just crash and burn and then it's just really bad and I had to learn the hard way. That's happened with business people, that's happened with romantic relationships. If you guys have been around for the last year and a half, honestly the reason why like I am a different person today is because a year and a half ago I had the 
the guts and the bravery and the courage to leave something toxic and leave something that was my whole world to just search for life and to search for real people and real connectedness. I don't want to be a jaded person, like I don't want to come out of a bad relationship and say, well, I'm never going to trust anyone ever again, but I also don't want to totally be taken advantage of. So what I learned from that relationship and what I learned from, I guess, the last year and a half and the current situation in my life that happened about a week ago is that sorry without changed actions is just noise. The best advice that I can give you guys after everything that I have experienced in the past few years is you gotta be the kind of person that you would need in a time like this. You gotta learn what it means to truly love the people around you. And I think if you're in a good headspace about that and you really understand what it looks like to love people, you are gonna be a much more difficult target for people who are looking to use you or hurt you. When you start caring about people, the people around you are going to be the kinds of people that start caring about people. I don't know, I just see how important it is to be around the right kinds of people because that was me for the last year and a half. I decided to hang out with the right kinds of people who really loved me. I guess we're all figuring it out. <laughs> we're all trying so hard to get this life thing right. I want to be in your guys' life more and I want to show that I truly care. So if you are willing to share with me stuff that is going on in your life, I want to talk about it because it matters and because you guys matter. And if you need people, I'm not, I'm really not trying to plug anything here. I'm just saying the people on my Patreon page, there were like 80 comments uh, when I asked you guys to share with me stuff that's going on in your life. I'm just seeing such a beautiful, healthy, growing community of awesome, awesome people. And it's just so cool to see, I guess, my shift and my transformation and learning to be vulnerable and what authenticity really means, what that is producing in you guys and the kinds of people that follow me. And you guys are turning into the kinds of people that I want to be on this journey with me. And I think that you guys are the kinds of people that I really want to see go out into the world and like just affect all kinds of people around them in like the most amazing ways. I guess that came full circle. <laughs> um, it's been a crazy start to 2016 for me and if it has for you, I feel you. <laughs> all right guys, I love you. And I'm gonna be doing more of these vlogs and I'm so excited about it. And goodbye.